Hello people of the internet, welcome or welcome back to another study diary. In this week's video, I am basically going to be bringing you guys along with me as I attend school, work on my assignments. Um, finals are coming up, so I've got a pretty packed week, but it's not necessarily packed with classes. Like for instance, it is a Monday and usually I would have a dreadful 8.30 a.m. class but my teacher like changed that so instead we only have a, a like five minute um, consultation with him on zoom to talk about our final presentation so that's at 10 30. i also have that same thing tomorrow morning so i'm loving this week because i don't have to wake up at six anyways i've got to work on a french homework that i completely forgot about and i have class later today so i got to do it and I'm just gonna do that while I wait for my Zoom meeting to start. Tuesday. Um, once again, this morning I have a little Zoom meeting. It's in about like 15 minutes. So yeah, can't find the link though. So that's kind of a problem. Today I'm thinking because I don't really have that much class, like I'm not actually going to be in class for that long. I'm just going to try to get ahead as much as possible. I've been working on one of my final essays this morning. Um, just trying to finish a draft but yeah i guess I'm basically just trying to get through my to-do list <laughs> sure um well i can start with our thesis so we're doing it on harlan county usa um but i can see how related to the rest of our thesis it might seem like a little uh, off topic so we can try to reword it okay So yesterday, as you saw, I kind of just went to the library after class. I got quite a bit of work done. I like nearly finished my draft for one of my essays. And I don't know, I was just like pretty productive yesterday. Hopefully I can do the same today. I'm gonna leave home at around like one to get to my class. 
But since I went to the library, I wanted to do a little book haul because I borrowed a couple new books. <clears throat> and I feel like I haven't done a book update in a while. So first let me talk to you about the books that I have recently read. The first one that comes to mind is the one that I just finished yesterday, which is Big Magic by Elizabeth Gilbert. It's kind of a self-help book all about like creativity and how to be more like fearless when it comes to creativity. And I actually love that book. Um, I don't usually read self-help books, or at least the ones I do read, I don't usually end up liking all that much. But this one, I really liked it. Maybe it was because the topic like interested me and I felt like I could relate to the stories that were being told and like sort of the advice that was given. But I just felt like I kept reading this and I was like, wow, this is exactly what I needed to hear. And there are probably so many quotes that I would have highlighted if the book were mine. It wasn't though, it was from the library, so I wasn't gonna do that. But yeah, I really recommend that one. I would honestly read it again. I also finished The Spanish Love Deception not that long ago. I was kind of just looking for something light and easy to read, some mindless romance, and that's exactly what that was. <laughs> the story is basically about a girl who's going to her sister's wedding in Spain, and she accidentally tells him that she has a date to bring because she wants to make her ex like jealous because he kind of ruined her life and he's going to be attending the wedding too so she tells him she has a date but she actually doesn't and so one of her co-workers who's like clearly in love with her but she doesn't realize it um proposes to help her out and act as her fake date and yeah i mean the story is like pretty interesting i, think I rated it like three out of five on goodreads yeah other than that like before i read the cruel prince which i kind of mentioned in one of my videos. I love that book. Um, I don't really like fantasy usually, but I really did like this one. I felt like the universe wasn't too complicated to understand and like I was just invested in the plot. And then I'm so excited to have the second and third book. Uh, I'm definitely going to be reading these like in the following few weeks. I had been waiting for the person before me to return them to the library. And then the other one that I borrowed is our favorite Sally Rooney's <laughs> Beautiful World, Where Are You? I feel like this is just like appropriate since the series Conversations with Friends is coming out. I read that book, didn't like it that much, but I'm a big fan of normal people, so I wanted to check out this one and I really like her writing. So I'll update you guys on what I think. And again, if you just want to see what I've been reading, feel free to check out my Goodreads. Um, for now though, I am gonna go on a little walk just because I think it's good for me to leave the house and like actually have you know a little bit of a like self-care walk i feel like i need that and so i think that's just going to be a good way for me to start my day so yeah that being said i'm just going to get out go for my walk and yeah that's that <laughs> ago it's pretty nice you know it's a little rainy but i kind of like this kind of weather and now i think i'm just gonna do some editing i have got my chai so i'm ready sorry if this is boring and like slightly repetitive i do realize that every day i just sit here and do work but i like the light okay this nice natural light feels nice and yeah i mean i gotta work what can i say <laughs> anyways let's get to it to cook anything. I don't have any energy. <laughs>
What's up everyone? I am recording audio for a project. So we're in the booth. <laughs> recording voiceovers. <laughs> go because I have a bus to catch so I have to walk to the bus station but yeah today I've only got one class and then I got a club event at 12 30 and I have work later so that's kind of a brief overview of today but like I said right now I really have to go if I don't want to be late so let's head out <laughs> yesterday <laughs> um and to be honest that's kind of because i had not necessarily like a bad day i just encountered like a series of bad events <laughs> and yeah i guess that kind of did not make me want to vlog that much like i was just focusing on getting through the day <laughs> and like making it back home to my bed in one piece <laughs> you know we're good now i made waffles this morning life is sweet nothing was happening and i was just kind of in a bad mood and i didn't feel like promoting that energy but i do want to say a really big thank you to you guys for watching like especially if you watch every week and keep up with my content um whether you comment or not like i really appreciate you um i'm proud of you and it means a lot like because i feel like most of the time i feel like my content is pretty boring and i wonder who would care to see this i make my content you know first of all for myself before anyone else like i enjoy making videos you know now that i do have somewhat of an audience somehow i do feel this kind of pressure to like make fun exciting content when really my life is quite boring let's be frank um especially compared to like all the exciting stuff that's going on on social media like all the time so yeah thank you for choosing to stick with me i don't know why but i appreciate it and i was kind of thinking about that yesterday and it made me made me feel better um yeah okay sorry for that like venting it felt nice but i'm sure you are ready to move on now <laughs> and hope you're ready for another day of studying <laughs> 